This is where we will be coming back. All right, let's get going here. We got a little bit of a road walk up. And this will bring us up to the quarry. So it's a good way to get your uh, get your heart pumping at six o'clock in the morning. Check this out. So there's a little trail that kind of skirts around just whole little area right here. So good morning, good morning. Here we are up in Hudson Highlands State Park. And uh, I'm actually right down the street from uh, Breakneck Ridge. Just one of my favorite hiking spots around here. Sorry for the mask, my face is cold. From a little bit of reading that I've done, this quarry here was established in 1931 by the Hudson River Stone Corporation. It was in operation for 30, 36 years. Yeah, I think there's like a little waterfall or something back in there. I'm not gonna go all the way back there. I don't feel like fighting ticks this early in the morning. This is a kind of a special little occasion here for two reasons. One is I get to feature this hike that I've never done before. This is as far up as I have ever come. And second reason is I'm sure I mentioned it in my Harriman video that uh Today's my birthday, 48 years old, and I am off from work all week, which is the reason why I'm able to get out on so many hikes this week. So yeah, Sunday and Monday, I was at Harriman State Park checking on my campsite. Now today I'm here, tomorrow I'm going to take the day off. And then on Thursday, I think I'm heading up to the Catskills, and I want to hike Slide Mountain again. So, and if I decide not to do Slide Mountain, I'm probably going to do Panther. But uh, I'm not 100% sure yet. I need to see. Uh, need to see how much snow is still up there. To tell you the truth. <laughs> God, it kind of makes you wonder when you look at that. How far out? into this little area here was this rock actually coming to. Like, did they take the whole side of this mountain away? Like all this used to be mountain where I'm standing? As far as I know, you can't camp up here. Maybe you can. Wow. Check this out. Old cable. Some old machinery. Wow. Look at that. Yeah. Oops. Oh, somebody lost their glasses. Alright, so we are up this way. So we're gonna be on the white now for a little while. I forgot to reset my GPS. Was the uh, that was the shooting of the cannon over at West Point. All right, so 1.2 miles up to the summit. Not bad. It is just 
unbelievably gorgeous up here. How in all the years that I've been coming to hike Breakneck Ridge have I never come up here? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I couldn't think of a better way to spend my birthday morning. Look at this. Well, that is just incredible. Bull Hill, Mount Taurus, 1,410 feet, I think. It looks like there might be a nice little spot to chill right down here. And then we will continue on with part two. That's impressive right there. Oh, that right there is Breakneck Ridge. One of the best hiking experiences in this area. And you got Mount Beacon in the background. There's a fire tower up there. That's a absolutely great hike to go all the way out to the tower. I've done it a couple of times, it's nice. Wow, that's a view of Breakneck Ridge you don't get to see often. Look at that. That is incredible. You see here long enough, you'll see a bunch of people start climbing it. All right, uh, I don't know what that is. We're off this way. Yeah, it looks like we're going to start losing some elevation now. I'm going to be losing this shirt pretty soon too. Starting to uh, warm up back here. All right, so what do we got? All right, so this is the beginning of Nelsonville Trail right here. That goes all uh, actually all the way down into the town of Nelsonville. So if you stayed on this, you would, it would dump you right into town. We're taking Notch Trail, which is blue. And then down at the bottom of that is my next stop. Oh, this has been great so far. Wow, what a, what an absolutely phenomenal hike this is. I can't, I can't recommend this enough, honestly. If anyone's ever in the area and you're looking for somewhere good, just three hours, four hours, come climb Bull Hill. Even if you just go up and come back down the same way, like out and back, instead of doing this loop, it is worth it. Perfect way to spend my birthday. And then I will go home, take a shower, make a nice big plate of eggs and bacon, and I will enjoy the rest of my day cleaning up my gear from the Harriman trip. <laughs> I still gotta air my tent out, my sleeping bag is still in a Jeep. Good, good stuff, good stuff. Wow, it's so quiet. <laughs> As I say that, the train goes blowing his horn. It's so quiet down in this little valley between these mountains. And it's such a, such a cool feeling without all the vegetation. You just like, uh, I don't know, with all the shadows and everything. Oh man, it's just awesome. Love it. Love it. But back in the day, that this was a nice little spot to be hanging out. Let's see. 
can get up around the front. Oh yeah. Oh, this would have been this would have been great. A little fire in the back, chimney. Fresh water right in front. Ooh. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, we gotta go up there and check that out. Oh, perfect. And then this is the turn that I gotta make. I gotta pick up the red right here, which is the brook trail. And this will continue on. All right, so I gotta keep uh, going that way. But I'm gonna take a walk up there first. Look at this. Looks like there's another one up there. Would you look at this? Yeah, there is. There's another building up there. Oh, we're gonna go check that out. Wow, these look like they were garages. Oh, it's gonna be dark in here. I hope there's like no animals in here. I know it's probably dark in here, but sorry. I have my I have my headlamp with me, but I don't feel like taking my backpack off to get it. This camera does pretty good in low light. This is absolutely incredible. And my GPS just lost satellite signal again. look here we go time to start moving I can't believe this just sitting out here in the middle of the woods good stuff
Oh, this path is much easier. Boy, what was the dumb way that I came over here? I think it was down there somewhere. I should have just walked up this way. Alright. We do not want green. All right, here we go. On to blue. Yeah, that looks like a big stone cistern. You see some timbers and stuff, or like some down inside it. <laughs> yep, that's what this is. Look at that. Oh my god. I can't believe I just put my backpack back on. I'm, I'm now just noticing there's frogs that are bigger than my hand in there. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work. I might lose my camera. Look. Look at that massive bastard right there. Look at that. Look at him. How is that thing so damn big? Is it because he's trapped in here? Oh. We're back. We're back. Is there any over here? Yeah, there's a little guy right there. There's another one right there. Another one there. That big one out there. Holy crap. Dude, this is crazy. It's like its own little ecosystem. I don't see any way for them to get out. It's like the little, it's like a little pond that time forgot. That's why that thing looks prehistoric. It's like a damn dinosaur. See what happens? There's no natural predators. These things just grow to be massive. It probably has nothing to do with it, but I don't know. It sounds good. I don't know if this camera's really picking that up too much, but just like a little. It's like a little hut right there. It has no roof. Interesting. Let's go check this greenhouse out. There's another house down there, a little thing. And I can see the road. Look at this. This is incredible. That little stone bowl down in the middle. Garbage, naturally. Oh yeah. There you go. Right here. Yeah. Yeah, then when I'm ready to leave, I'll just follow this route. Look at that. Dude, it's a whole nother like freaking house right there. Ooh. It looks creepy. Oh crap. Look at that. It looks like some kind of like system or something maybe to retract the roof. Kind of looks like there's tracks that go down both sides. All right, I don't know what's up there. It doesn't look like anything really over there. I'm not gonna go back up there. I wanna go look at this thing right here. Yeah, you see, right here. There's your history. Holy crap, look at that. Dandelions growing up on top of the top of the thing. <laughs> That's great. Use those perfectly preserved stairs. 
Oh, look. This is where people would have driven up. Then we would came right in to the main house. Probably right here. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Cornish. Nice to meet you. You know, there's a problem. It looks like your floor is missing. Yep, look at that. You come in. Grand fireplace right there. This was probably like a big living area, maybe. Yeah, I just got busted talking to myself. It's great. So, I see some people down there, so I'm gonna put this thing away. Yep, back to the mask. The trail is definitely heating up later in the day it gets. Ain't no doubt about that. Just past like nine people less than a tenth of a mile. So, I will do the proper thing and leave this on. And hope nobody busts me talking to myself again. Yeah, right across the street. Okay, and then what's this, this um, hill? If you go up and you take a left when you first get to the first trail junction, that'll bring you the long way up there. It brings you through the Cornish Estate. Okay. Um, if you keep following the white, that's the more direct route. It's a little more steep though, but uh, it's like a mile and a half up. Okay, thank you so much. And dogs are fine, right? Like... Yeah, you need to have them on a leash. I need a f haircut, holy crap. That is it, gentlemen. I am home. Hope you all enjoyed a little uh, exploration there. I know I certainly had fun. That's it. I'll uh, see you guys next time. Peace out.